Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I'm back at Dollar Tree and oh my goodness, this is gonna be a good one. Let's go shopping. So you guys know the last trip in was a gold mine. We found so many new things that Dollar Tree is putting out for fall. So this time in, there's even more brand new items. Now I'm gonna show you guys a few fall things here at the beginning, and then I'm gonna show you all the Halloween. Yes, I know it's summer, but they're putting out Halloween, so I feel obligated to share it with you. Now their plus section is pretty similar to last year. A lot of the same items coming out. They have these $5 hanging leaf pieces that look really high end. Those could be painted. Also these baskets, gorgeous for $5. I have to say Dollar Tree this year has been killing it. These will go fast. These are their plush velvety pumpkins, really good size for $5. Orange, gray, white, pink, and some blue. And you know how it goes with things like this at the Dollar Tree, you snooze, you lose. So you've got to pick them up when you see them or they'll be gone the next time you're in. They brought back these signs. They're two-sided. They're sort of like an A-frame board. On the back's a chalkboard. The front side, they have this one in pumpkins. They also have this one in sweaters leaves and lattes please and then of course they had to throw in a truck just for fun i like this one in the black five dollars you can't beat that it blows anything you're going to find at other stores out of the water they also have these decorative orbs now if you guys have been around since last christmas i used some of those in my christmas tree and they're gorgeous now up here by the front door i noticed something new a few of the signs that i've shown you guys in our last trip in but they are putting out doormats for fall they've got hello fall the gather here on the brown and then this one on black oh so cute love those down below more pumpkins and in the plus section they're putting out a lot of metal items and containers perfect for decorating filling with all kinds of fall items from pumpkins to florals they've got these milk jugs in the white and in the galvanized they've got this large tub so you can make centerpieces diys you name it they're also putting out these taller versions and this is such a good price for five dollars now this one is a little bit more rustic looking a little more of the hammered finish this one has the chalkboard sign on it and then they've got this little pitcher I mean, again, for $5, you just cannot beat it. But let me show you what else is going on before we head over to Halloween and everything new. So they do have these bundles for $5. I think that's a really good price. If you're like me and you kill them, it's an even better option. A lot of things we've seen in the last few years, including these stuffed critters as well as these shelf sitters. And then down below, they also have this fun fall dice. It's quite a good size. It would be a great DIY item because it's only $3 if you wanted to give it a whole new look. They're also putting out the sets of the ceramic fairy garden or gnome garden items for fall. They've got a few different ones to choose from. Down below, a little blessed pumpkin sign on wood. They brought the doors back for $5 as a wall hanging. And then these as well for five that are pumpkins and they come in the white as well as the orange and yes you see a red truck over there out of the corner of your eye it is a three dollar item it's back again this year they also brought these back that i saw last year and i was really impressed with they could be easily diy'd into a tray because they have a raised wooden edge on them for five dollars they come in a few versions I showed you guys the gnomes and these signs our last trip in, but I did not see these. So these are a small little horizontal. I found it in the three versions. And then down on the other side, all of the pumpkins have arrived. I think this one is gorgeous. I think that each year Dollar Tree is sort of upping their game, especially when it comes to 
competing with other retailers. I love that gray one that is in the cement. I actually own it. I should have brought this little squirrel home. I think this could be easily painted to look like a much more expensive high-end piece. Lots of pumpkins to choose from. I do like the varying heights. Again, you can always paint them if you don't like these colors. This is something I have to mention, and then I'm literally turning the corner, and it's going to be Halloween from here on out. They have lunch boxes by Disney in the plus section, and these, I think they're LOL dolls. My kids are a little bit older. They also have a fancy Nancy backpack for back to school. So check your plus sections out, check your Dollar Trees out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, so much Halloween. Now these are plush bags for trick-or-treating. They come in the jack-o'-lantern in the purple, looks like a poison bottle or something. They also have them in the gray with the skull and crossbones and this black one in the kitty. It does have ears. I think you could easily DIY this into a pillow with some stuffing and a few stitches or hot glue at the top. They are also doing a really cute candy corn garland for $3. You cannot buy the things to make it with. Up here, I wanted to show you guys, they have these stacked topiaries. Now this is a $5 item, but again, can you buy all these items and make it for $5? I'm not sure. The bottom pumpkin is a good size. It comes in the three different color combos and they're all topped off with a spider on top. And gnomes, I showed you guys all the gnomes for fall and now they're doing all the gnomes for Halloween. This one I actually thought was really cute. Once upon a time, my oldest child, who's an adult now, wanted to be a skeletal bat. So I have made a costume that looks like that. They also have this really cool gothic looking lantern. It is a solar lantern for $5. Now it's coming across as kind of brown, but it was actually gray in person. Now I am showing you things from the plus section, but we're also going to get to the regular $1.25 items. I did want to mention these trays so cute very good looking dupes for things you see at places like michael's they also have the tinsel style wreaths for five dollars i think there was also a purple one and i thought this was really cool it is a three dollar tinsel garland really well done it didn't look cheap now this creepy plant what does it look like i don't know it's a mystery to me because somebody grabbed them all they were three dollars and this this is what grabbed my attention for five dollars it's battery operated a super cute pumpkin candle with an electronic candle already attached so i think that's great now they also had these that really rival things that i've showed you guys from places like walmart now what was down the center we'll never know because someone grabbed all three of them they're three dollar items and they look pretty high end for that price now this is another item it's just gonna fly off the shelf they're these little stacked plush stuffed pumpkins this one oh my goodness mackenzie child definitely high-end looking you can't beat it for three dollars those are the two that i found in those prints they also have some lights down here for five in the skulls but this candy corn and treats pom-pom garland is to die for they also have one in pumpkins that are plush but this one if you love the treats look and that vintage vibe for halloween you're going to want to hit dollar tree they have lots of lights and things i actually had a little more footage to show you guys of the skull snack bowl that you can see kind of up there um so i'll be sure to check that out the next time we're in if they're still there but these things are going to fly off the shelves they also have doormats for Halloween. I found the four different versions. The Spooktacular I think is really cute. Down here they had some really fun battery operated items. This one's a cauldron that makes it look kind of smoky and it lights up. It puts out a little mist. Now down here at the bottom this one says double double toil and trouble and then this one actually says hocus pocus in the purple. They are definitely getting to know their following because I think those are going to be very popular. They also have some skull candles. I think they had these last year. They're $5. And this, I was very tempted, you guys, but my kids are older. I'm not sure how much Halloween I'm going to do anymore until grandkids. Now, for $5, they also had this LED crystal ball. It just looks like a fun little gadget. They also have this candle that I've seen in places like Walmart for more. It's $5 here. 
And then they also have the ceramic gnome fairy garden city pieces for $5. They've got them in the three different versions. And then down below, these are so fun for $5. You'll get to listen to them. So here we go. Now they're actually quite loud. I turned the volume down on that clip so that it didn't kill your eardrums. So just know they're very loud, great little door knockers. Now let's get into the fun stuff that is $1.25. They do have these picks, so this is new this year. I haven't seen them in the years past, but they brought back the Halloween colored bottle brush trees. I'm curious to know if they also come in black. It looks like someone may have come along and taken all the black out of the front of the box. And these, if you do a Halloween or fall tree, those pumpkins on sticks are adorable of course they've got all of their floral back as well but then I looked up and realized they're really upping their game when it comes to the whole seasonal tree idea of decorating they have these little tree toppers because yes there is a Halloween tree they also have these I remember seeing these in the last couple years this is definitely a dupe for something I've seen before at places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and it's a two pack for $1.25 so if you do do a Halloween tree you're going to want to check those out. Of course, they've got the tinsel and some eyeball picks. Now the eyeballs could have been done a little bit better. And over here, I was finding some really cute hangers for your wreaths. So I found the bat as well as the hand. These picks, which had already been gone through, someone came through and took a bunch, probably a crafter. And then over here, they've got their ribbon coming out more of the bottle brush trees these look just like candy corn they come in a few different versions and then i know you're spotting that to the right those are picks that rival michael's these are a dollar 25 a piece and they are really cute well done candy corn picks for halloween for fall any time of year that's right up my alley now if you are a crafter or just looking for a fun activity for the kids they do have a lot of craft items out including a lot of wooden rounds with different text and themes to them they also did some really cute stickers now i'm noticing dollar tree doing less stickers but they are upping their game on the ones that they actually do i thought these were cute they also have out the little plastic bats and this is the color for the halloween tree and it comes in four versions so happy halloween on the black trick or treat on the galvanized metal and then i lift it up to show you guys they also have it in the orange i put a spell on you and purple in the hocus pocus they also have some more wreath hangers without any embellishment some spiders now these are glitter they're a pack of either one extra large or two large spiders orange black and purple they also have these picks so like i'm saying they're really upping their game when it comes to crafters and anyone who likes to either make wreaths florals or decorate a seasonal tree so they do have their mesh up top so get it while you can because you know the deal now i wanted to show you guys the tree so i didn't unbox one they didn't have one on display but it looks like there's a lot more orange to it this year and it kind of at least on the box looks like it's gold they also have these ornaments i appreciate that they're not the eyeballs from the last few years um, and they come with an iridescent one as well as a white glittery one and as you can see there's like different kinds of the iridescence there's more of a silver more of a blue more of a clear and more of a purple these could be used any time of year now on an end cap i found more noise making things so let me show you guys what they're putting out they have these lanterns up top but i was totally mesmerized by those buttons those get me every time so they do have the skeleton in black it's a plastic lantern the witches are back and no need to even push the button they just started making sound as i walked past them they also have the lantern in the orange and then these guys also started making sound just sensing that i was there there's the ghosts as well as the skeletons these are really fun i was tempted but we already kind of own something like this it's battery operated it's a mini projector and i was looking to see if there were different versions looks like they're all the same they had a ton of them 
They are just different jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. So I'm not sure how well it works, but it's a fun idea. They also have the mini projectors and this is new. These are fun. These are actually battery operated light up mesh pumpkins. They come in purple, black, and the orange. I think the black is probably the coolest looking one. Now, if you look in the center of these, you'll see the light up portion that's accessed through the bottom of the pumpkin for adding batteries. And I would like to see what these look like when they are all lit up at nighttime. Now over in the plus section, again, they are putting out these bat wreaths, much bigger than other stores have put out in dollar areas. They also have a trunk or treat kit. I think that's brilliant. Saves you a lot of time and effort. And then these galvanized signs. I think we saw those last year. They also have the glitter pumpkins coming back. This one's sort of a bluish purple. It also comes in a black, gold, and silver. And then a couple of hanging signs for $3 in welcome and in spooky. So I'm loving what they're putting out i think they're definitely killing it when it comes to decor for halloween and fall and just turning the corner i was just shocked they've already got out the tombstones and they're starting to put out costumes i hope you guys enjoyed coming with me to dollar tree and i'll see you back very soon